Welcome. Welcome back and welcome home. My name is Melissa and I will be your multi-dimensional cosmic tour guide today. And always, I am so excited to be here. We're going to do channeling. And um, I am feeling the Mary Magdalene energy, the Magdalena um, golden energy for this 8-8 portal. And I'm feeling just deep peace and and love and ironically I have um, just the message to start do, um, talking about twin flame things so even though all of us are a little bit over the twin flame um, like definitions because they were so tainted and so um, it treated so ugly um, but this marriage of Christ is um, really happening in a big way right now. So uh, Mary Magdalene Energy, which is the mystery school, Mary Magdalene um, um, divine counterpart of Jesus. So there's this this beauty about uh, this time period because in this 8-8 portal, she says there's a lot of the um, dark demons being pulled out of our systems and pushed away. And those using, coming into their um, powers, their abilities, their talents, and their passions and callings inside. Those who have used them in the incorrect ways or backwards um, in any way, shape, or form. It's going to be a separation between those and, and those who came here to work in the Christed divine energies. So the divine magician, she's saying, the alchemists, the true um, Christed and anointed humanity is getting a, it's almost like a, an extra wake up call or a um, extra spark. And it feels really f like full of love. And she says this has to do with the balancing of that marriage of Christ and um, divine masculine, divine feminine and the divinity um, connection with source. So she's saying it's being purified yet again, and um, it indeed forms our uh, molecular structure DNA. And many of you have done a really good job. Many of you have been um, just sort of hiding in plain sight, and that's what um, Divine Will has, has asked you to do. And it seems like many of you had to be quiet and um, go through lots of different transmuting stages of some of the old civilization, some of the old shadow work, some of the old um, wounds and suffering for the collective. And she says the heavens rejoice in all of the, the hard work that you've done. And in that you have walked through many initiations of uh, mystery school within so your own divinity it doesn't have to be like anyone else. It doesn't have to be a certain way. It doesn't have to be a certain religion. But that Christed, pure, listening to God's source, that Christed purity um, has made such a difference in this evolution of time. And she says this golden energy coming in is pure, divine, unconditional love. And she says that um, the divine masculine it has stepped forward in um, growth quite a bit through some really yucky um, pieces of learning stages and, and growing pains. And in that, the Akashic Records for the collective and for each one of us, um, you, me, us, them, um, all throughout history, has been balanced back into that uh, marriage of Christ, that twin flame, that twin soul. Um, divinity balance much more than it ever has so even though we've done this before we've done it many times this ascension these ascension phases this one's a really big one and there's more to come as we go through August and into September we can expect um, miraculous surprising things good and bad um, and some of your purposes and callings will be unwound um, so much out of the bindings and the bondage and the enslavement of the past that this twin flame 
um, flame will be ignited so, so passionately in these next days and weeks and months and years. And if you have felt like a, a little bit un, un, like detached or disassociated or fragmented, and just know that um, the divine knows many of you have been just brutalized and um, came here to transmute a lot of the shadow. Um, really dark, really light um, in all different aspects of the world. And she says there's a big celebration going on and there's a freedom that your soul will recognize and you can stand up and instead of being like sort of hiding in plain sight and just being quiet, meek, um, it will be time for many of you to um, sort of regroup and reignite in your callings and the calling and your missions and purposes here in this world are always um, having to do with love. And just in that, we can really see the the initiations and the um, and that just means the uh, level of awareness, the steps that we take through the the good and the bad, the ups and the downs, that bring us into um, expanded understanding, higher higher frequencies, higher awareness. And she's holding up the keys, so that keeps coming up, keys, 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 and saying that the keys are being given to those divinely anointed beings. And if it feels like you've been pushed to the side, um, those things will be rectified, and you have indeed been chosen. And if it doesn't seem so in the physical, um, many of you came knowing that it wasn't about that. Um, she said, but that Christ did marriage of Christ in these different layers and civilizations, these bandwidth layers, as I, Melissa likes to call them, I do, um, um, have really been uh, rebalanced uh, bigger and better than ever and connected to spirit. So heaven on earth coming together, not quite there, um, but it's starting to dock in to um, in that place of peace and this new era that we're in, this age of Aquarius. She says, stay in your north nodes and just know that um, you're not behind. And um, there's a lot of connection, sparks. And some of you who couldn't have um, actually been with a physical twin flame or soulmate or divine counterpart, because it was too dangerous, because it was too tumultuous at the time. Your inner work and your your path has, has been so beautiful. So all of the heavens know, and some of you are quite shiny and um, stars. And it could be time now um, for that, that journey to continue with other people. Some of you, um, some of your soul families and soul friends and soul mates, had a chance to correct and walk with you and um, create wondrous and amazing things and they did not so some of your soul tribe um you had to walk away from and she says that was part of the um the transmutation of that shadow energy here on earth and some are being realigned and coming back in and some are uh, new, and you will recognize them as being friends and loves of all lifetimes. And she says that is, although the um, true history, the true, um, the truth of what happened in the last tens of thousands of years in any level and layer, and the multi dimensions are solid and and of course recorded. And what we would call the Akashic records, we're going into the higher Akash that cannot be tainted as those um, lower Akashic records are corrected and balanced. And she says that's part of the new era and walking in heaven on earth. Because if you think about it, um, yucky, scary things in our consciousness in the lower 3D and 4D energies cannot exist in heaven. They just can't. Um, 
um, illness, pain, war, suffering, <laughs> judgment, um, all kinds of stuff that we have experienced in our physical heaviness um, of this world throughout history. And she says it's balancing. And she says she just wanted to say um, some of those um, were all um, removing our own demons and addictions and pains. And you're all doing really well. And, and she says that also brings that Christ did balance in. Um, not that anyone anywhere is perfect in the physical body. But you come a long way. And um, many of you will have um, a chance to have your earth angel, um, family, friends, loved ones, and support that will always be solid and honorable. And um, this is, it is so. She says, and everything is magical. Everything is. So many of you um, have just inside knowledge of your alchemy or um, divinity or magic and she says um, it's sort of like being cleansed and cleared and washed and, and it's, it's, it's all ready for you to rest in so she says if, if you're a little bit tired in these 8-8 eight, eight portals just rest and just be you and there's nothing to worry about so I love this message it's pretty cool I'm going to pull, pull a card from the Rose Oracle and um, see if there's anything else. She's saying there's um, it's always been worth it to love and all of you who have shown that you can love through anything and everything it's um, quite a feat that you have been able to bring the the heart of humanity into full it's almost like flow with the cosmic heart of the universe and she says it's it's such a beautiful sight to see from spirit it's beautiful it's opening okay let's see what we got Yeah, here we go. The Mystic Rose. This is exactly what she was talking about. Look at this. Compassion, devotion, humility, humanity, grace. That's a true mystic. That's a true master here on earth in physical form. And many of you are just that. And that's what she's saying. That balance brings this divinity in this 8-8 eight -eight gateway. And we can, we know our truth. Look, that's it's like um, roses in the third eye. And um, it's divine. And look at that heart that's her sacred heart that's um, so bright and shiny and, and also blooming. Look at the architecture of the universe as it balances us out. This golden energy of the flowers. And that's sort of the higher frequencies in us. And she says, you earth angels um, deserve reward and, and grace and happiness and joy and peace. And as we go through this, you know, 8-8 eight, eight gateway, the, the twin flame inside of us um, can truly create, co-create with God anything. So dream big. And let's make this world... Um, Everything we ever wanted, this peace on earth, happiness, richness, fulfillment, joy, wholeness, freedom, peace for all. I was just looking at that card still. Thank you so much um, for being here. And she says, we're just anointing, mm, blessing, blessing the seals. Um, crested seals of who we are, not seals like sealed in, but anymore, but, um, and it's almost like a blessing, the kiss of God with us in every way. And so just know that you are on the right path and, um, God, God will let you know. 
God will let your heart know. And good luck in your new um, friendships, relationships, um, partnerships, whatever it is, and connections all over the place. There's just beauty in the way that we can respond and react and connect with our neighbors, friends, family, loved ones, communities. Um, and they will see the truth now, she says. They will see the truth of what was always real. Um, so I thank you all for, for being with me today. Thank you for the likes and the, the shares and the subscribes. And thank you for the um, uh, generosity. So, and we say thank you to Mary Magdalene, the Christed being, um, the divine feminine of the Christed being um, balance that we all want to be.